Coming out, we have Kati, number 21, in. Let's see if that throw in is taken care of. That's it. And Kati touches the first ball of the game, goes out. It's GLF USC ball now. Uh, it's done fast. John Dumbuya falls on the ground, and uh, they actually get that, but Anil Pereira gets fouled. by a New York Cosmos player, hits a New York Cosmos player. That did look like it hurt, and we got a yellow card finally for New York Cosmos. That have not been that physical, but they have been physical on John Dumbuya every time he gets the ball. Every time he gets the ball, he, gets, he has a man on him, at least one or three. We've seen three, and they still being like super friendly with him, touching him here and there. We're 22 minutes in, the ref just talking there with a New York Cosmos player. And Il Pereira is still inside the field, so it can't be that bad. It has to be taken care of outside the field, so yeah, Neil Pereira going out before he can actually come back in. We'll see when the ref calls it. And we have the free kick for the... I don't know what the fourth ref is calling in. We have a ball in from the Real United open ball. Still on the, on the air. Kadik is not able to control it. Doc Searle gets it. Midfield, Patrick Hamilton rebounds. We have a long ball, long run by the Cosmos, but he prefers not to take it. And we have Sam Manning with the ball here. Controlled. We have... 20 minutes to go on the clock almost. The game's still 5 0 4 in New York Cosmos while well, John Dumbuya gets the ball in. George Lamantakis goes on the side, tries to get the ball in. Safa is not able to control it through three um, Cosmos players. We have a foul, clear foul in front of the ref that is kind of shy on the yellow cards because it's not calling them so the player is able to turn around and go to the goal but the ref is not calling that a yellow card but we have well two players on for the cosmos on the wall Neil Pereira gets the ball on the ground we'll see if we can actually if the great level United can actually get this opportunity in on the scoreboard Neil Pereira opens the ball on the ground Trying to see it. Oh, we have another foul by the Cosmos. Unnecessary. Or is the. Yeah, it's another foul. Unnecessary. They're winning 5 0. Why do they play hard over there? That kind of action would be understandable on the other side if the Great Lowell United, who are. Quite sure, quite upset by now. But we have John Dumbuya with the ball going in. Great center. Ah, nice header by number 21, but it was kind of soft, not well positioned, and keeper's ball there. The pressure is on John Dumbuya, who actually, well, we, no. New York Cosmos, Rick, get the ball back. The ball is still alive, and Anil Perea gives it back to Sam Manning, who looking to open the field but place it in the middle where it's controlled by number three from the New York Cosmos who have been controlling the midfield throughout the game throwing for a great low United that ball went goes out not controlled by the new defender from the New York Cosmos Number 15. Pressure is on. Safa, three players. And we have John Dumbuya running towards them. Ah, and lost, loses the ball on the ground. Great and clean. Stolen by the Cosmos defender. We have a throw in that's done quite fast by the New York Cosmos. Doctor does another 
throwing for the Cosmos, allowing the GLVS2 players to come back. And the Cosmos loses the ball. They lose the ball right now, but throwing, not controlled by number 11, Ibrahim Daly. And we had a throw in by Patrick Hamilton that's lost by the New York Cosmos. The turnaround, we have Ibrahim putting a great ball in. And it's an offside. Likely called. I couldn't see if it actually was offside from here. So let's go with the ref's call. Ball is opened by Aníbal Pereira, who gets it back. He's playing at number five. Costas gets a long ball to Katy, who gets stolen by the New York Cosmos. Neil Perez throws it with a header back into Cosmos territory, who headed back, and we have the Cosmos attacking, opening the field. Number 11 wins the back. No offside, so actually... That could have been a goal for New York Cosmos. The ball strikes the post and goes out. And we have now a throwing for the Gray Lowell United about the midfield. We see a couple of players warming up on the sideline. We'll see if on um, the control by the New York Cosmos keeps paying them up. We are almost. 30 minutes into the second half. The New York Cosmos are winning 5-0. But the game is a bit more even this time around. We can see the whole bench from the New York Cosmos calling the ball for them, but the ref says otherwise. And we have a throw in for the New York for the Great Lowell United. Caddy gets the ball in the midfield, goes around, tries to pass a New York Cosmos player that keep the pressure on him, opens the field, we have Costas opening the field to Rivera badly, loses the ball in the midfield, goes back to the New York Cosmos. Red, remember that Costas right now has a yellow card. Um, I don't know what did the ref call, and I'm not the only one. Okay, so, He's calling the foul. Uh, he's calling a foul, but he's not letting the Great Level United keep on the play. Okay, so different interpretation of the rules, I guess. And Mickey Perez with the ball open in the field to Derek Oliveira, but the pass is short, and the New York Cosmos get the ball back. We've seen that happen many times today. Safa gets the ball, runs through the side, goes into the box. No player from Great Level United into it. And we have, we have a foul. Or is he calling the ball out first? No, he calls that the foul was outside. But yeah, it might be helping him, it's just pressure. Just physical pressure on Safa, who was trying to get the ball in, but no great Lowell United player in the box. So no one would have gotten it. We have, um, well, for a change, the uh, New York Cosmos are throwing the ball all the way back into the field. Gray header, two gray headers, great ball there on the side, and but the ball goes out by the good covering by Amiki Perez. 75 minutes in, another substitution here on Colley Stadium. I can't see the player's number, but I'll tell you in a bit. We have number 21, Ruben Bover, the best, best player on the field, is coming out. And we have number 23, Christian Hernandez, or Christian Hernandez, coming in for the New York Cosmos. Now we're throwing by Patrick Hamilton, and the ball goes out. Header by the New York Cosmos, and the uh, Guerrero United win like 30 yards. So actually, we are being able to see if they can actually use this throw in to put some pressure on the New York Cosmos. The goes, ball goes out. Safa tries to control it. It bounces back to the New York Cosmos. And it's a New York Cosmos ball here on throw in. 
after those rebounds there in the midfield. Ball is controlled by Neil Pereira, goes in the middle, John Dumbuya okay, gives the ball, John Dumbuya hits on it, loses the ball, but the pressure by Neil Pereira keeps the ball on Great Lowell United and calls the foul from the ref calls a foul from John Dumbuya. by that pressure, but we have a sub from Gray Lowell United. John Dumboya comes out, he's being subbed, and we have, if my eyes work well, it's Vini Passos coming in. It is Vini Passos, I can't see anything from here. This connection there by New York Cosmos. They are looking a little more sloppier than they did before. Hopefully, the Angre Lowell can use this. But the ball goes out. It was a good chance with Safa running on the right hand side. Ball lost by Derek Oliveira. At number 25, getting the throw in for New York Cosmos. Pressure there in the midfield by Nia Pereira. Ball goes out. Miki Perez calls it for the keeper, and the keeper holds for it. We have Sam Manning. Get the ball all the way to the midfield. We have Dog Sora getting it down. Safa trying to control it. And after it, it goes, trying to open the field. Can't man on him. Costas opens the field to Miki Perez on the back who plays it in the midfield to Bini Passos. Gets a nice ball to Kitty, who runs there on the right hand head of the field, but he's unable to control it. But the ball is still in. Or not. Is it a handball? The ref didn't call anything. The ref didn't call it. Kitty plays it fast, but maybe too fast for his teammates to be paying attention to it. But he's able to actually to win it back. We have an opening on Doc Searle. Misses the ball. Misses the pass. And we have another substitution here. Or not. Why? Well, no. It's a throw in. Why did the lineman put the flag like a sub? I don't know. Eighty minutes into the clock. Ten minutes to go here at Coley Stadium. New York Cosmos are still up. Five goals to zero. The, oh, there's a substitution. They're changing keepers. We have John Morales going in for Kyle Zalbeck. Remember that the New York Cosmos played yesterday versus the Seacoast Phantom, so they are they are on the road. They need to change players. Probably the keeper is tired or not. Ball for New York Cosmos, who are not attacking that much now. Lost a little momentum. Player goes on the ground, and Mickey Perez just opens the field. Costas with a man on him. Puts the ball to Anir Pereira. But Doxer gets the shot. Number 23 gets the ball in the midfield. Clear chance for the New York Cosmos, but number 11 who, as far as I know, has a yellow card. Puts the, food out, the feet up, and the ref tells Liam, stop doing that, because he, he was grabbing John Dumbuya, he was doing the foul. But the game is still on here on Colley Stadium, and we have Kitty trying to win the midfield, which is what the Great Lowell United lost throughout the whole game. And that's, due, and that's why we have the result we have so far. Lost it again, and that's why we have New York Cosmos ball going into the side. Is that uh, puts it into the box? No one's there. George Alvantak is, is his chance to run to take the run. It is going a man on him. A three he goes through three. The purple keeps going. Looks at ball. The ball have a great shot by Vinny Passos that barely goes out. 
temporarily goes out. Great chance for the Greater Lower United. That was a good run by George Lavantakis. Unfortunately, the ball goes wide. But it's Cosmos ball here in the midfield. Who turns around as soon as there's a man on? They open the field through the defense, and that's what we are seeing right now. The, v the defense is triangulating the midfield. The ball goes out. Doctor tries to get the ball, but apparently, by trying to do it, got injured. Open ball for Sam Manning. Let's see if the medics come in. But Sam Manning tried to do it fast. But, well, yeah, the ref sees the situation. The dogs are racing the ground. We have medics coming in. I think dogs are also exhausted today. And we see they're... <laughs> How the crowd being crazy tonight here at Colley Stadium. Doc Sir comes out in order to go in, right? Because the medics came into the field. But they are. Are they subbing now? Oh, they are going to sub Doc Searle, but not yet. The ref. Well, the ref was clearly not paying attention because he doesn't know who got the ball. And Mickey Perez gets the ball all the way to the New York Cosmos side for them to go the throw in. And the game is back on. Fair play, guys. That's what fair play is all about. Pressure on the keeper, what we haven't seen for, uh, throughout the first 80 minutes. Now we have Doc Searle opening the ball, but their kitty now is not on that side. And the uh, Cosmos player doesn't allow the ball to go out. Goes back to the keeper. It's pressure by Vini Passos. And we actually have, for the first time in some time, Gray Lowell United putting some pressure up the field instead of on waiting for the Cosmos to come to them. But ball lost by um, Doc Sir in the midfield. Great, nice ball, nice switch. Although it gets caught in between. Long ball there, keeper, no, well done, Go! no, it goes out, the ball goes out, it was clear, the field was, the whole net was free for Vinny Passos to put that ball in, but it goes slightly wide, there was pressure for two players, that's true, but it could have been in, it could have been a goal for a new, for the great level United, and now we have the sub going in, now is, is, is it happening now because I see the ref blowing the whistle or not. We have five minutes to go here. Many balls on the ground. There can't be that many balls on the field. Is this up? It's up. It's not happening. Have captain number three here getting long ball. Costas needs to check because he has a yellow card. And the rebound goes to Gray Lowell United, who get a throw in. The sub is coming in. Sub substitution for the Gray Lowell United. Doc Searle's coming out. And yeah, Pereira gets the captain's band. And we have Carl Gauntlet coming in to the game. Cargon is 16 years old, is um, making his debut here on the MPSL this year. And we have the first ball, actually goes to him, gets the ball. Uh, probably they call it handball from Carl. 
who is fresh. So I hope he actually puts some pressure on the New York Cosmos players. We have an Eagle Ferreira who opens the field to Vini Passos, but it's keeper's ball. Here, Hood, while well, the keeper is opening the field to the defense, Car Gauntlet is going to put some pressure there. We have number 15 who passes the ball to the keeper, and we have no pressure on the keeper, so he has time to think about it. And, well, finally, Carl was going that way. We have midfield getting the ball from the New York Cosmos. They go in, and they are going... Great play by number 11, who actually, well, misses the ball. Luckily for the Grey Lowell United, because number 23 was cutting in on the side. Mickey Perez misses the ball and is throwing for a New York Cosmos with two minutes and a half to go here, uh, plus a stoppage time. We will know how much is he going to add because he did, the ref didn't add any on the first half. So we might he might surprise us now and add some of the time from the first half. Some pressure from Carl Gauntlet, who is... Uh, Following the defense there, we have number 15 going back to number three from the New York Cosmos. It's looking to open the field up and push a great pass to number 29 who cuts it in and it's keeper's ball for Sam Manning. No players showing to get that ball. So we have Patrick Hamilton with a man on. Second throw from Sam Manning that misses it and we have a goal by the New York Cosmos that makes it 6 for the New York Cosmos 0 for the Gorilla Lowell United not a, well, not a great decision from Sam Manning making that pass to a player with a man on him 6-0 here at Collier Stadium with 1 minute and a half to go we have a medic coming in Another Gray Lowell United down. Looks like a Mickey Perez is down. We'll see if there is a substitution or the Mickey goes back into the game. But, yeah, Mickey Perez needs to go out of the field because the medic was called in. And now the ball is on, the game's back on. We have 30 seconds on the clock, plus the stoppage time. It's going to be like about, I'm guessing two minutes, but you never know. Throwing for the Grail Lowell United. Amiki is back in the game. He's going to take it. And goes all the way in. But Carl Gondlet is unable to get that ball. We have another throw in. We have... Well, the, you can really tell that the new players from the New York Cosmos are less agile with the ball than the ones that were on the first half of the game because there have been a couple of those mistakes throughout the whole game. Cargo tries to shoot and goes down on the ground. We have a foul on the edge of the box. Thanks to Cargo trying to actually hit that ball. So most dangerous situation so far here in the second half for the Great Level United. He's on, we'll see what they work around it, what they do with it. It might be the, there's Vini with the ball. And we have Vini passes with the ball, looking at the goal. He's probably gonna shoot it. We have many men on the wall. We have actually the, but, Two, all the New York Cosmos players are on the wall. Is that nine meters in? Is that nine yards in? Looks about it. 
we have Emibiki Perez right in front of the goalie. I hopefully, but he's an offside. And uh, what is the ref calling? Oh, uh, there is might be. I don't understand what's going on. They are calling. Maybe the, there's a wristband or something on a player. I can't really see it from here. But we have. Yeah. Both players out due to that. Other number. Goes above. The goal post, we have the goalkeeper by Safa. And it goes above. Last chance for Ole on the game. 90 minutes in. 6 0 for the New York Cosmos. Player opening the field. The pressure is still on. The game's not over. And the New York Cosmos know it because they are still attacking. Trying to get that number seven in. Great shot, but. Goes on the ground. Sam Manning gets the ball. And that's it. Game over here at Colley Stadium. The New York Cosmos win 6-0 on this 90 minutes. The New York Cosmos right now are number one in the division um, over the Brooklyn Italians, the, uh, the Seacoast Phantoms. The New York Athletic Club that won today versus the Rhode Island Reds. And then, well, we have the Reds. The Seacoast Mariners and the Greater Lowell United, who still are unable to get that first win and that first point here on the MPSL. Uh, next week, they play the Seacoast Mariners, and right after that, in two weeks, we'll meet here again in the Colley Stadium to face the Seacoast Mariners. See you next time here on LTC. My name is Santiago Rodriguez Rey, and hopefully, you had a great time watching this game as I had during the play-by-play. -play.